All right, and hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Rumble Blast Let's Play. And if you guys missed out during the last episode, we went and headed into our very first cave area, and we also went and headed back to one of the forest areas as well, too. And uh, that was here for 2-2 in the Misty Edgewater. Now, all that we have to go and do right now, guys, is that we actually have to go and head into one of these type of forts here. This is actually known as the Filthy Fort. And also, too, we do have our time here within the Battle Royale that we can also go and try and do. And apparently, we can actually go and win a prize here such as the team catapult so i guess we may probably have to go and head on into this one first because if i can't recall from before uh when i went and played rumble blast uh, for my very first time uh i believe we can go and actually head into this filthy fort uh just yet because even though when we get into here gerda is going to be basically telling us something around that apparently uh it, it's a little bit too much dangerous uh here for this particular area not like how uh, compared to our very first type of fort it was just kind of like a tutorial type of area and it was all that too bad and we actually did go and manage out to battle out with the crocodile here uh but i guess we kind of have to wait for a little bit but uh, you won't get over the wall without a special contraction and that of course is going to be that team catapult uh that is going to be for a ward over at the battle royale so with all that being said in mind let's go and tackle out with here in the battle royale first and then we'll see what is going to be happening from here so this is the type restricted only that ghost type pokemon can only participate in battle wow okay so now hold up for a second here because I did actually get to see that there is one more missing other area that was here and we never got to go and do this one yet This is gonna be known as the haunt yard now I don't know if we have ever went and headed into one of these type areas before but it seems like this is gonna be a perfect Place to go and search for some ghost type Pokemon So we can't really go and use our Kabuskin at all But at least our Kabuskin is our highest mon out here so far within our party So we could go and use that to our advantage here for this place And hopefully we could get some pretty nice good damage from when we actually go and start uh, knocking out with some of the uh, uh, different bosses that, that are going to be uh, here for this particular area so let's go for it oh nice we got some brand new type of ghosts out here we got ourselves with litwick now and we also do have uh, with ghastly at this point which i don't think we have ever got ourselves a ghastly so that's pretty cool all right, let's just keep on moving forward. Oh, here we go. Got some other new mods around out here. We got some Duskulls finally. Now let's see if I can be able to go and knock it on one of these guys here. Can we? Uh, or get ourselves with a toy for one of these guys? Fortunately, that is not going to be the case though. But however, we do have another level that is going to happen right on after this. So hopefully that is going to happen here. Now, uh, oh yeah, and also too, one thing that I do want to kind of go and let you guys know about here uh, within our uh, episode out here for today. Ooh, look at that. We got ourselves a Shuppet. Nice, 461, not too bad for that attacking uh, stat there. Um, but anyways, if you guys can go and probably tell uh, from our channel, uh, or, or, well, from the channel uh, that is here right now, uh, you guys can go and probably see uh, that I have been moving uh, some things around here and there uh, with some of the different playlists that have been going on. And uh, from that time, uh, from what I'm actually going to be doing is that, um, if you guys can go and probably see, I think Yoshi Island, uh, the advanced version that I did for the GBA, I am actually going to be going and doing the 3DS version. So I went and deleted all my old videos uh, from that time on the channel, and I am going to be going and doing the 3DS version in the near future. Uh, now also too, uh, for Tokyo Country uh, Tropical Freeze, uh, I did say that I was going to be going and returning back to that at some point as well, uh, but I was going to say that I was going to try and use a special uh, modded type of thing for my Switch so I could actually be able to go and play on the Wiimote. Uh, for some reason, uh, with the USB adapter that I have now, uh, for, uh, I guess, uh, oh, nice, we actually got some burn damage off from there. Oh, I've already been knocked out, that's not good. Okay, well, let's go and switch around, let's bring out on, uh, Marowak, let's see if we can, uh, go and do anything with this here. Now, I know that, uh... I, I guess uh, even with normal typing type of moves, I can still go and do some damage, even though that in, in the real game here, uh, uh, even though the real game is basically not going to work on these ghost type guys, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> We're not playing competitive Pokemon. We're just playing. Oh, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Give me that lamp it. Yes. And, uh, and, and so instead of me actually trying to use a special modded adapter to actually go and use a Wii uh, on my Nintendo Switch, I have to go and actually go and uh, use a Wii U instead to go and play Tropical Freeze and use a Wiimote that way. Because uh, for me personally, I always like using a Wiimote uh, anytime, whenever I go and play any type of Donkey Kong Country uh, Returns type of uh, series uh, type of games that are going to be there. So I will be going and uh, do a Tropical Freeze uh, with a Wiimote on the Wii U uh, for that time. 
so yeah, so I, I think I am going to do uh, another thing as well too, because uh, if you guys haven't checked out with my Chrono Trigger series, uh, I will be deleting all my old school uh, series uh, from here off of the channel, and uh, actually then going and doing a randomizer for uh, Chrono Trigger at some point in the near future. Uh, it's really cool though. Uh, I never actually realized that Chrono Trigger, uh, one of my uh, favorite type of... Uh, uh, like RPG type of games actually has now uh, with uh, with a randomizer uh, for it. Now I believe it's only for specifically for the SNES itself. I don't think you can actually go and do this even with the Nintendo DS with the Chrono Trigger series. Um, but if you actually go and use the SNES version, uh, you would be able to go into this thing known as like I think it's known as like uh, something. <laughs> I can't remember what the actual name it is, but it's like Jet something. It's like a Jet uh, randomizer or something. And you actually get to go and use a um, uh, the special vehicle that actually happens within the game. And I think it kind of like starts you off like at the very midway ending of the actual game. And that's when you get like the special flying vehicle and you can head to all the different places around uh, within the different areas and Chrono Trigger without ever having to go and actually go and follow through with the actual story and everything. Uh, but it's going to be really insane. And all the items and everything are going to be completely randomized and it's going to be uh, really scary for what's going to happen within there. Because I don't really know too much about Chrono Trigger because that's been a really long time. I've only played the game I think like only like two or three times like ever so. Uh, even like the third time that I went and did that, that was literally like on my channel, like all the way back since like I want to say like 2019. But ooh, here we go. It looks like we got ourselves a uh, special type of Pokemon there. I don't know what that is. We'll just have to figure that out. What the heck? Come on, Lampin, at least do something, man. There you go. Yeah, I think if I just kind of just stay a little bit far back, I think I should be okay. Ugh. Yeah, because these guys are not very friendly, are they? So I guess I have Shadow Sneak, I think. I uh, don't... Uh, it's too bad that I can't really go and check out on uh, on Lampit's moves here. I wish I should have went and did that from before. But it seems like this could be Shadow Sneak. And that's why it's kind of annoying. Because like, it kind of has to go through this annoying type of path to literally knock it on the rest of the other guys that are here. Because I have to sneak really far away from these guys. So even though that uh, I'm not going to be able to get my time right away as quickly as I can. Uh, kind of have to... Come on, lay up it. You can at least go and hit somebody around out here. There you go. I need that. I need that. I need that. Oh, oh no. We're running out of time here. Come on. There we go. Got some extra time there. All right. Perfect. Okay. That it seems a little bit better. Yeah, because I think uh, if I knock out those guys that are kind of having a, a loss of uh, HP there. Ooh, there we go. Got ourselves with Spirit Tomb. Okay. Now, Spirit Tomb can be a little bit scary because I don't know if that's going to be doing a lot of damage to us uh, with whatever type of moon that he has. Oh man, look at that. That's not even even touching Spirit Tomb right now at the moment. Okay, I need those. I need these. Come on. Oh, uh, come on. Just stay a little bit further away. Come on, knock out that Spirit Tomb. Yes! Okay, there we go. I was a little bit scared about that Spirit Tomb because uh, I didn't know what type of uh, crazy move that he was going to have. Like Ominous Wind or something. But there we go. Litwick was the last one here. So now can we get ourselves with that Team Catapult and actually go and use this for our time for when we go ahead to the filthy fort nice look at that we got ourselves a prize money at 1500 and we got ourselves an a rank so that's actually really good that we went and got ourselves with the a rank here for this place all right so ghost type battle has been cleared out 25 out of 31 of the pokemon have been defeated which was uh, is great but hey there we go got ourselves a victory once out here again so let's see what it is. So nice. So now we got ourselves with the Team Catapult. So before, we actually got ourselves a cool key, which you guys did get to see uh, during the end of Chapter 1 because I kind of jumped the gun a little bit and kind of wanted to go right into Chapter 2 uh, right away during the uh, last of the type of recordings out here for the series. Uh, so there we go. All right. So Team Catapult, can we now go and finally put this to good use now? Uh, now, before I go and even worry about even using Lamp Pit for the Filthy Fort, because I know that that's going to be taking like a long time, I think I may probably want to go and switch out on different mods out here for this. Uh, we'll maybe probably have to bring up maybe Marowak, kind of do a little bit of a downgrade. We'll see how much uh, Marowak can actually go and do for, uh, for moves out here. Okay, here we go. Back over to the Filthy Fort we go. Girder, I finally got the, the prize item of our time here. So can I finally be able to go and add it to here? Behold, the Team Catapults. Yes, this is an ideal device for launching three Pokemon over the wall of a team battle. So using the Team Catapults, so choose two allies to go and help you. Ready, aim, and fire. So may you be victorious. Wow. 
Now, I forget a little bit about how this whole team catapult thing kind of works, so I have to go and choose uh, two other different mods. I guess we'll have to go and do that uh, when this actually happens. So start a team battle? I think so. Let's go and do it, man. No team members chosen. Uh, the battle to which one? Uh, so, battle with just only one Pokemon? No, I think we should probably go and try to add some other Pokemon here. So we have to go and choose a member first. Uh, so I'm going to probably say, uh, we'll go for Combustion. Combustion could probably work, because I know that we may probably need a Fire Typing. Uh, we do have uh, ourselves with a Ground Typing, but I know that we don't really have like anything like... I want to say as good for Marowak, but at least we have a three star type of attacking move. So I have to go for anybody that has like at least like a three or a two star at least. Um, let's see. So Nightshade, a Thunder Wave, that could probably kind of help out a little bit with Shup it there. Uh, we do have Fury Swipes with Teddy Ursa, which that could be a potential thing that could be really helpful just so that we can constantly get the attacking like all the way through there. Uh, but lamp it with nightshade, so it's not shadow sneak. It was nightshade. Uh, let's try out Teddy Ursa. Okay, let's try out a team battle. Let's see if we can do this now. Okay, here we go. Launch ourselves over the wall. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Love that little uh, cutscene right there. But let's get right on into it then, huh? So team Pokemon react and attack on their own. So, I know that uh, when we did Pokemon Rumble before on the Wii U, I don't know if that is kind of like a team battle, because I know that there was like some Capture the Flag type of uh, mini games and whatnot that, that was happening within there, just for us to go and uh, do some stuff uh, for uh, for like a victory or, or whatnot to continue onwards uh, with one certain level. But, there we go. Seems like Headbutt's kind of working out pretty well, I guess. Look at that. Okay, so far so good. Already went and knocked out on the uh, on the Swoobat, and we got ourselves with some extra more health along the way. Oh god, we got some Shiglings out here. Okay, Trimekos may probably be a little bit annoying, but it seems like Combustion is kind of pulling all through here for this. So nice. Oh, and here we go. We got a Bahium. Come on, Bahium. Let's go, dude. Oh, what the heck? Well, he's not doing too much damage to us right now, but there we go. We got ourselves our, all of our health back. Kind of doing this kind of makes me feel like I want to kind of play a little bit of uh, Triforce Heroes at some point, like on the channel. Uh, which, if I do Triforce Heroes, I would have to do that on my uh, on my 3DS capture card because uh, I know that um, for some reason it seems like Citra does not really like uh, the use of uh, having the multiplayer type of function all that too much. So I just need to go and find some people that would be uh, interested on actually doing Triforce Heroes at some point, like on the channel, which uh, that'd be really cool. But I. But it would have to be some of my closest friends, though. Bring on over to uh, to my place. All right, here we go. Let's see. Come on, knock it on the Medicham. So is this the boss Pokemon? Is this what we're finally here? Well, it did say Filthy Fort, so I was kind of right during the last episode, because I know it was saying something about Filthy. I know it was gonna be like some sort of garbage Pokemon, which of course uh, it has to be Garbodor. So you're not good enough to take out the trash. Hey, I'm always good at, at always taking out the trash, man. <laughs> I always make sure that I always go and, uh, and, and always do that on, on, uh, on trash day. There you go. Oh, you cleaned up after all. Long live the leader. <laughs> when I literally said said uh, said, uh, said trash, but then I put man at the end, I kind of literally thought about Sonia at Philadelphia. Uh, always Sonia at Philadelphia with... Uh, <laughs> Um, with that one episode with uh, Danny DeVito being like a wrestler, that was what his, uh, that was what his name was. Alright, but there we go. I guess we can finally say that we can kind of mosey on over to the next chapter then. Or, or, well, not next chapter, but next area. So here we go, guys. So it's 2-3, this, uh, what is this? Soothing Shore. Huh. Well, let me guess. There's gonna probably be some mudkips that are gonna be around out here at some point. Whoa! What the heck? <laughs> well, that was really weird. <laughs> I, I just went and literally knocked out uh, the, the little swaddle there, and then I just went and uh, jumped right on into our time here back into Eastway Town. <laughs> I thought my game kind of, like, broke there for a second. But anyways, I think this is a good enough time uh, for me to go and just kind of end off our episode out here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, also subscribe to the channel if you're new. And uh, in the next episode, uh, let's just kind of see what we got ourselves involved with here. So in the next episode, we'll kind of be jumping into the lake area, which I don't believe we actually went ahead off into there just yet. And I do see 
that there looks to be another tower area. So we got some more type of ghost type Pokemon lurking around. So we will go and take care of those two uh, ones here in the next episode, and we'll kind of start move. Uh, mo uh, we'll start moving on forward here to uh, to the next ones that I do see because I do see that there's a Battle Royale, but I don't think we can really go and do a belt with that just yet. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you guys then, and of course, peace.